Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Valedictorian and Salute to Torian. Well, fellow graduates, before I proceed to my, my commencement speech, I'd like to honorably ask all of us to stand together and give a moment of silence for all those who have lost their lives due to the coronavirus. As you all wish from your home, I want to say welcome, families, friends, school board members, and all class and high school staff. Dear graduates, it is such an honor and pleasure to represent class and high school class of 2020 on this memorable day of our lives. First and foremost, I would like to thank my counselor, Mr. Harkins who has expressed his support and anticipation for the speech. I would also like to thank Ms. Julie Goldberg and my teacher, Mr. Johnson, for always being there for me and pushing me to my greatness. I appreciate it. all of you who helped me throughout my high school years. Seniors, I want to tell you how amazing we all are not only because we all have accomplished this big thing in our lives, but because we all made it through our journey. We have all come a long way to be here on this day, a day to celebrate with families and friends, a day we all have been waiting for since kindergarten. For some, like myself, it wasn't easy to keep up with good grades and be part of the school community. I had some financial problems and rough times and struggled to find shelter. Working a full-time job at the same time, being a full-time student was not easy. But at the end of the day, we did it. When I come to America, everything changed for me. I started making decisions for myself such as self-managing my time and money. It was easy for a while, but it soon started to become more complicated and obscure when I started at class in high school. I worked at different jobs and moved from place to place up until I was able to get back on my feet. Nevertheless, being a homeless and going through all these hardships didn't stop me from working nonstop to get me where I, where I want to be. I believe that as long as 
you put yourself out there and work towards this, what you want and believe in, there is no guarantee that you want achieve what you said in mind. My fellow graduates, today is the day all our hard work and passion gets the result. We all went through a long journey full of setbacks, passing many discouraging events. The late nights and early mornings were frustrating for most of us. But at the end, it was all worth it. We failed many times in many things again and again, but failing is not always losing. Let's go back to our first day of our high school. It was a time when all or at least most of us have doubt for the rest of our lives. We overestimated about how being a senior is a big deal. We were anxious about communicating and gaining friends. The most difficult part for most of us was worrying about learning new languages and adapting to the American culture. We spent hours trying to find our classes and get used to the school. After we got, invo after we got involved and better adapted, it became a whole lot easier. We all have passed through the hard times and now we are more mature than we expected. Although we were not able to experience the things that most seniors experience, such as uh, prom nights and walking across the stage due to the pandemic we are in, was still the best way to end our senior years. Seniors, don't get discouraged because the graduation ceremony did not hold be proud of yourself and thank God that you and your loved ones are safe at home together. 2020 is a year for the book. As Vivian Green wrote, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's all about learning to dance in the rain. Although we're not celebrating our accomplishments the way we would like, there will be better days. Sometimes it's better to accept the reality and keep moving forward. Life doesn't get easier or more forgiving. We get more re reliable and more resilient. Seniors, always remember to be committed to your goals, be yourself, and take calculated risks in your life. From the bottom, choosing the longest path may be tiresome and challenging. But in the end, success will be the end of your story. So no matter where your next destination might be, to believe in yourself, work hard, and have patience, the success will come. And again, congratulations to the class of 2020. You finally made it. Good afternoon, seniors, faculty, staff, family, and friends. My name is Najma Noor and I am the proud salutatorian of the class of 2020. First, I would like to congratulate all seniors. We made it. This is our victory. Many of us are first generation graduates and we will take this diploma in honor of our families and on behalf of our home countries. With Clarkston's diverse community, we are representing the entire global map. Today, I am grateful to represent Somalia. My parents came to America to escape the Somali Civil War in 1993. They have given me the opportunity to have a prosperous life in a safe environment. Before I continue, I would like to take a moment to thank the ones who made my success possible. First, I thank Allah. Alhamdulillah, I thank God for his guidance and blessings. I thank my mother for instilling me with resilience and strength and my father for being my motivation. I thank my siblings, Nadia, Nesteha, and Ahmed, my grandmother, and all my friends and family in America and Somalia for their endless encouragement. I appreciate all of my teachers with special recognition to Antoinette Nelson, my top 10 teacher, for being my number one fan since the ninth grade. I also thank my counselor, Mr. Hawkins. I wouldn't be here today without them. 
Lastly, I thank all of my classmates for making my years at Clarkson memorable. Before we were surviving a pandemic, we were surviving high school. It was just yesterday we were freshmen trying to figure out how we only had five minutes to go to our locker, use the restroom, and get to class. And that freshman hallway was always so hot and crowded. But look at us now. We were brought closer together through air dropping quizlets, and we have created bonds over games of Kahoot. And today, we are graduating. Seniors, I wish we could have gathered in our gowns, ready to turn our tassels and throw our caps in the air, but I hope you all know that our accomplishments will not go unnoticed. Although nothing I say will be as good as Barack Obama's graduation speech, I hope that you at least take some positivity with you today. A wise man, Benjamin Franklin, once said, out of adversity comes opportunity. And he's on the $100 bill, so it has to be true. Despite how our senior year ended, we are proof that good things can come out of bad situations. Now, we may not have had prom or senior activities, but we were blessed with the diploma that we earned just from staying home. No other senior class is doing it like us. We won. I hope we can continue overcoming challenges and I cannot wait to see what success the future holds for us all. Speaking it into existence, we will turn all our adversities into opportunities. We will see more achievements and more Benjamins. And this will not be our last graduation. I wish you all good luck on your future endeavors. Thank you, class of 2020. Good afternoon. To our superintendent, Ms. Ramona Tyson, our Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Vance Ann Tinsley, our Chief Academic Officer, Ms. Stacy Stepney, our Region 4 Superintendent, Dr. Michelle Jones, our District 7 Board of Education member, Dr. Joyce Morley, faculty, staff, family, friends, and especially our Class of 2020, welcome. Welcome to the commencement for Clarkston High School for the class of 2020. I am Patty Lumel, the proud principal of Clarkston High School. I would like to take the time to recognize my administrative team, Assistant Principals Mrs. Dolores Reeves, Dr. Angel Rivers, Mr. Demetrius Walid, and Mr. Quentin Ward. I would also like to give a special thank you to our faculty and staff members who continue to go the extra mile for Clarkston High School. It is indeed a pleasure to be able to celebrate these talented young men and women who have worked hard to reach this milestone in their lives. One that has been no small accomplishment given the trials they have had to face over their academic careers. This has always been my most favorite time of the year. After having started my career in an, as an elementary school teacher, it is always so refreshing to see how those little bright-eyed busybodies could turn into mature young men and women getting ready to take on the world. And you, class of 2020, have had to do that sooner than anticipated. I am a firm believer that there's a reason for everything that happens in life. With everything, there is a lesson to be learned. I know this final year of your academic high school career has not been what you planned, you've had to learn some hard lessons. There were no final senior activities, no official senior skip day, no prom, no club, state competitions, canceled spring sports, no senior day, no final exams. Instead, you've had virtual learning days, Zoom conferences, self-quarantining, taking care of yourself because you were sick, taking care of sick family members, and getting a job to help with household financial responsibilities. Oh, 
and lots and lots of TikTok videos. Who knew March 12th would be the last day you would be together with your classmates and teachers at Clarkson High School? Throughout this time, I have been reminded that life is short. I have been reminded that tomorrow is not promised to anyone. I have been reminded to take advantage of every day, live life to the fullest and without regrets. Love and appreciate your family, be kind to people and help someone when you can. Class of 2020, life may look a little different right now, but you still have purpose. No matter what right now feels like or looks like, you still have purpose. You have a reason to be here and you must dedicate your life to that reason. Always give your best and remember we are Clarkston United, stronger together. Congratulations, graduates of 2020. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Clarkston High School, I am pleased to present the academic summary of Clarkston High School class of 2020. This class consists of 254 graduates and has accomplished the following academically. $5 million in scholarships, nine graduates with a 4.0 GPA or higher, 48% of our graduates are eligible for the HOPE scholarship, 60% of our graduates will attend a two or four year college or university. 10 of our graduates have enlisted into the military. We have 42 superintendent scholars, 205 pathway completers, 40 dual enrollment students, and this class also consists of boys region 5A champion in cross country, girls region 5A runner-ups in cross country and volleyball, wrestling 5A state participants, DeKalb County School District's technology fair winner, ROTC junior achievement participants, our famous Cook It Angoras, and seniors who are registered to vote. I present to you the class of 2020. At this time, please join me in welcoming our superintendent of DeKalb County School District, Mrs. Ramona Tyson, to certify the academic summary of this class of 2020. As the superintendent of DeKalb County Schools, I hereby certify that all members present for the class of 2020 have fulfilled the requirements established by the DeKalb County Board of Education and are therefore eligible to receive their diplomas. I'm with DeKalb County School District Board of Education, Dr. Joyce Morley. It is such a pleasure to be here today to greet the graduates the 2020 graduates in the DeKalb County School District. I wanna say greetings to the members of the class of 2020 and greetings to the parents, relatives, and others who have invested in the class of 2020. I know that these are some very tumultuous and unexpected times. And I know that because of the COVID-19 coronavirus of 2020, many of you are concerned that you are not able to celebrate your high school graduation in the usual and customary manner in which you have done before and others have done before. By marching to, into a large facility, sitting with your classmates, some of those classmates that you have sat with for many, many years, 12 and 13 years, you are not able to be able to walk across that stage and to be able to have your parents, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your grandmother, 
your grandfather, your aunts and uncles, and all of these people to be witnesses to you receiving your diploma. But guess what? Just because they can't see you receive your diploma doesn't mean that it's not taking place. Here's an opportunity for you to be able to see that no matter what happens, that it's okay. COVID-19 couldn't stop you from reaching this amazing milestone because God is greater than COVID-19. Although I am not making this speech from a physical stage, as you sit in the audience, in anticipation of receiving your diploma, at this time, and although you will not cross a stage in front of me and in front of everyone else, after I complete my speech, you will still most certainly be able to cross the proverbial stage of life as a segue into the next chapter of and in your life. Remember that completion is more important than crossing. With your accomplishment of completing high school, you can now design and write your script for your own stage of life. You will most certainly have many, many more roads and bridges to be able to cross in life. However, completing your journey and getting to the other side is an even greater accomplishment. An even greater task is for you to now have your plan set with goals, action plans, action steps, and also timelines for how you will actually control your stage of your life and be able to look over and move through the next one to five years. Since you are now the designer of all the stages in your life, it is imperative that you gather and remember the lessons you have learned thus far. Even though dealing with a pandemic, you still have some lessons to be able to learn. One of the first lessons is to remember that God is in charge of and in control of all things at all times, even of the stages of your life that you create. You are merely one of the actors on the stage of your life. Another great lesson for you to remember is that just because you design your stage of life, and you make plans for what you would like to be able to take place on your stages of life, even the greatest plans can and will be interrupted. There will be other times in your life that you will also face the life-altering redirections of things that you have planned. However, how you complete the journey and what you do next will matter the most. Remember, the completion is greater than the crossing. There will be times that you won't know what to do. You won't know how to do what you would like to do. But always remember that you have options in life. Recognize those things, those situations and circumstances that you can and cannot control. Allowing yourself to be humble, to be able to challenge yourself enough to know the difference. Here is the time when you must turn to the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. Although you did not walk across the physical stage for graduation, and you aren't able to change or to control many of the things that have taken place, especially with the COVID-19 coronavirus and the pandemic. You can move into the world of work, training, trade school, the military, and college, creating your own stages in life. Remember, you are the designer, and you will decide how you will walk across the next major stages of life, anticipating your completion instead of your crossing. You can do it. You have proved it before. Now and then, 
and now it's expected that you will go and show the world your stage. But most of all, your completion of all that you do, not allowing redirections, interruptions, or other things that are out of your control to get in your way. You will cross many highways and byways. You will cross many bridges, but it's the tasks and goals that you complete in life that will make the difference. Congratulations to the class of 2020 in the DeKalb County School District. On the basis of your certification, I accept the academic summary of this graduating class. The academic achievement meets the State Board of Education standards for public schools of Georgia and the requirements established by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools and the DeKalb County Board of Education. As a member of the DeKalb County Board of Education, I authorize the presentation of diplomas to the Clarkston High School Class of 2020. Congratulations to the Clarkston High School graduating class of 2020. Jakob Abadiga. Omar Mohammed Abdullahi Hussein. Jamal Abdul Nasir. Gofran Abdulaziz. Shiham Maraf Abdul Wahab. Harun Ahmed Abukar. Emmanuel Acosta Aparicio. Abdul Salam Adam. Zain El Abedin Zakaria Adam. Faiza Sheikh Ahmed Afra. Shukuru Ahari. Nusharifa Binti Ahmad Kabir. Aiden Abdullahi Ahmed. Yusuf Kudur Mustafa Al Falahi. Ahmad Asar Al Kuzai. Amin Sharif bin Amin. Kareen Latasha Anderson. Roberto Carlos Angelito Garcia. Tanya Zulema Arevalo Cordova. Rikishi Jatavius Aikak. Asia Torai Bannister. Jamal Darnell Beal. Elia Beard. Jeremiah Beard. Khadija Bello. Guna Nath Batare. Tisana Biswa. Deepak Biswakarma. Michaela Regina Cheyenne Blue. Sawada Ahmed Boo. Deja Arna Bray. JC Galen Brown. Imanika Tyrese Nishadia Burns. Isaiah Anthony Burrell Grimes. Quihoni Burrell. George Cardenas H. Cardenas. 
Mang Borsin. Ezriella Zahavia Clark. Martavis Travion Collins. Martha Eki Conte. Zaria Canel Latisse Cross. Ro Sang Kong. Tanaya Monet Curry. Dejan Ray Dansel. Yosef Faltaso Dea. Christian Dilla Makuru. Janoris Alfonso Dixon. Aga Nakchak Dut. Paula Earn. Laha A. Candice Aminata Ariga. Gizai Eta. Jalene Malik Paul. Nathaniel Atskumarian Fadade. Lucas Filippo. Woodrow Sahay Fiseha Bana Hagos Fitwe Kayla Julia Francis Jeremiah Marcellus Freeman Tiffany Anna Marie Freeman Dakari Janae Gardner. Alex Gasana. A. Gay. Sean Tremaine Glenn Jr. Gabrielle Allison Glover. Lydia Fikru Gunakal. Chanel Lee Gomez. Chandra Gurong. Kumari Gurong. Sujata Gurong. Adam Patrick Eden. Atu Ta Hai. Tavin Dion Alexander Hales. Josue Hangi. Malak Ismail Abdul Majid Harun. Isa Abdul Kayum Harper. Jason Dupree Harrell Jr. Tamana Hashmi. Frederick Gaines Hurd. Mohammed Samir Haidari. Roberto Kevin Heredia Ramirez. Eric Javier Hernandez Villapando. Abdi Jabbar Ahmed Hersey. Timothy Humang. Mulisa Hogoza. Naya Julia Hooks. 
and all hit to. Nay hit to. Sally hit to. Zachary Elias Hunter. Adar Mohammed Hussein. Salad Jafar Ibrahim. Zubeda Binti Ayman Huzaifa. Sharon Naoma Inodike. Emmanuel Ishimwe. Atlanta Nasha Jackson. Nia Simone Jackson. Bosco Kundi James. Kajarea Trinise James. Doreen James. Kia Renee Jemison. Madison Jenkins. Rodelay Jerome. Ashanti Denise Jones. Kalia Darlene Jones. Ibambe Murray Joseph. Go Frederick Kangni. Miles John Robert Cates. Nisha Catwall. The Nate Kebadom. Gannett Hopti Kebadom. Intisar Abdi Ghaffar Khalif. Daniel Woon Yun Kim. Bong Ne Kim. Mark Matthew Khan. O Ku. Pico Ku Anki Mang Lam Amoni Elizabeth Lane Kenny Man Lay Derek Ato DeWitt Lee Jr. Nikhail Taylor Lee. Bahati Leonard. Mwajuma Leonard. Kyla Iman Lewis. Pao and Leon. Lo Ha Ling. Jack Ascende Lombambella. Jerome Anthony Lyle Jr. Januka Magar. Narisha Magar. San Magar. Samjana Mangar. Shabika Mangar. Ruvena Manoa. 
Esther Ponga Mbilizi. Success Umbungaro. Zubair Ibn Mekal. Amani Lexus McCrary. Hatume. Me May Yeshiwa Sabate Malese Tamara Marguerite Meredith Brendan Josiah Middlebrooks Desmond Ravon Milner Chantel Lamoche Mitchell. Winona Bridget Mitchell. Abdirisak Noor Mohammed. Bashir Mohammed. Hashim Abdi Wahab Mohammed. Ridwan Mustaf Mohammed. Sophia Binti Mohammed Salim. Ula Adil Mohammed. Bardausa Abdikader Mohammed. Susmita Monger. Hey Nemu Lemu Kajanik Monet Moy Samson Muhumuza Chabi Lal Mukia Kyla Rose Mullins. Veda Mulugeta. Olive Murikatete. Mandalina Mwangaza. Zia Diamond S. Miles. Kiras Desvaye Neri Naya Iona Nesbit Lubuela Ungo Moja Christy Tan Nguyen Ni Tweet Nguyen Thomas Lu Nguyen. Christian Jacques Noniri. Najma Abdirahman Noor. Sarah Jan Nuri. Call Nu. Gun dot par. Reina Leah pass. Bhakti Chandrash Kumar Patel. Ritik Vijay Kumar Patel. Eh ne pa. A Sala Bur Pa Hazin Pa Jennifer Fan Ashmita Rai Vikash Rai 
Darshan Rai. Near Maya Rai. Roshan Rai. Sapan Rai. Bay Ray. Faith Alexandria Reed. Sierra Adriana Robinson. Treshawn Cameron Robinson. Beaston Roger. Aftam Gidi Salu. Mohammed Nemet Sali. Demetrius Germain Samuel. Fanu Samuel. Biak Sang. Ro Sang. Nazipa Saeed. Raja Saeed. Makeda Sarah Saeed. Sadan Hussein. Nima Mushombe Shadrach. Amin Asadola Shahid. Eric Shazad. Michaela Patricia Sharp. Christiana Shardo Shah Rubio. Kim Nisi. Emmanuel Treshawn Slayton. Denisha LaShawn Smith. Robert Nelson Smith. Mom Neng So. Elijah Joan Sterling. Aita Suba. Aiti Maya Suba. Mon Suba. Brandon Amlakar Suchite Acevedo. Ni Baksui. Christian Clifford Sullivan. Elizabeth Tamayo Tejeda. Betty Tang. Dontavis Londell Taylor. Jonathan Taylor. Sarina Tapa. Urban Thompson III. Borchin Diao. David Win Tran. Smith Tran. Stephen Tan Tran. V. Tui Tran. Sant Tuit. Bio Abdo Ugesa. Alliance Uimpaye. 
sur la Ewa. La Gewa. Se Pawa. Sa Ayewa. Nadi Elena Walker. Thaddeus Hernandez Walters. Angel Janae Ward. Bryce Diane Dwayne Washington. Ayana Denise Williams. Essence Zena Williams. Donald Michael Wingo. Keith Woods Jr. Kasahon Aweke Warata. Joa Reya. Abraham Tespa Michael Jonas. and gentlemen you may now turn your tassel from the right to the left congratulations class of 2020